first time NBC 26 is able to hear firsthand accounts from nearly 20 correctional officers about safety concerns at Green Bay Correctional. Yesterday, guards expressed why they feel more at risk than ever at their jobs. NBC 26's Eric Crest has more on our exclusive story. On Wednesday, we heard from correctional officers who work here that say they're required to work in excess of 800 hours of overtime this year alone. We also heard from officers being shuffled around to other positions they're unfamiliar with to deal with staff shortages. In big picture, we heard why those actions put staff in danger and at constant risk from inmates. And this is why, according to employees on the inside, they say when they're required to pick up additional shifts, often they're dealing with inmates from units that are new to them. The inmates notice the new faces too, and that can lead to the assaults like the three that we know of here that have occurred just in the last year. What happens at these institutions is they collapse posts, okay? Well, instead of having two people in the kitchen, we're only going to have one. Instead of having three people on this housing unit, we're only going to have two, okay? And you can imagine in a medium, maximum security correctional institution what that means. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll tell you how officers say that inmates' schedules are also being shifted on the account of staff shortages and how that, in turn, creates even more safety concerns. Keeping you connected in Alloway, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26.